Hey everyone, today we're going to be using GitHub Actions to set up our CI workflow for our Bazel monorepo. So in the last two videos, we first of all got started with Bazel, we set up our monorepo, and then we configured some targets um, using Python and some of the Python rules. So today in the third video, we're going to be using GitHub Actions to set up a CI for this. This is going to be pretty uh, quick and easy. We're just going to, in GitHub, click on the Actions tab. And if we were to search for workflows, we can see that there's actually no um, workflows pre-configured. So we're gonna set up a workflow ourselves. So this gives us this default template. We can see it has a name, a bunch of comments. Um, so let's go through one by one and we'll delete comments as we don't need them. So first of all, we're gonna have name, CI, that's fine. Uh, next we can see on, and this controls when it's gonna run. So we want to run it whenever we push to the main branch or whenever a pull request is created against the main branch. We don't need this because we don't want to run it manually for now. And then we want to run some jobs. So just for simplicity's sake, we're just gonna create one job. And this job is going to be called CI. And we're gonna run this job on Ubuntu. And it's gonna have a couple of steps. So first of all, most GitHub workflows will use this checkout step first of all and this is going to check out our project and then we don't need the rest of these for now so the next step that we want is to set up basilisk and if you remember we're actually already using basilisk locally and basilisk is basically a wrapper around basil and it's using this basil version file to download and use that particular basil version so we're already using basilisk locally and this is just going to use it in our CI as well. So here we can see the steps. First of all, we had checkout, which we already have. Next, we want to use this step, which is this GitHub action, and it's going to set up Basilisk for us. Then you can see we have this um, mount Basil cache step, and this is optional as it says here. We're not going to use this for now. And you can see once we've used this set up Basilisk step, we're then able to invoke Bazel commands, just like this. So let's first of all pass in this, and then we're just going to do run, and we're gonna run Bazel build first of all, and we want to build our entire monorepo, and then we're just gonna do Bazel test, and again, we're gonna test everything. So this is as simple as it gets, we have a uh, GitHub workflow called CI. We want to run this workflow whenever we push to the main branch and whenever we create a pull request against the main branch. We have a single job called CI, which checks out our project, sets up Basilisk, and then we can run Basil build and Basil test. So let's just, um, first of all, create a branch and let's just call this setup Basil CI. So let's do this and we should see straight away that whenever we create the pull request, we should have this action running. We can see on the PR now, we have this CI build happening. If we click on this, we can see each of the steps here that we defined. We have the job called CI. We have, it's already set up Basilisk. We're now running Basil build. It's then gonna run Basil test. And this is building and testing our entire monorepo. So we can see it's found our five build targets, built all those. It's found, should just be one single test and it executed that and everything was successful. So we can see now that the CI completed successfully. If we refresh now, we can see that there was one check which was successful in 32 seconds. That's very quick. And let's just merge this pull request. So now going back to our project, as you can see, we haven't pulled main yet because we don't have this .github directory. So let's just do git pull origin main. And this should create the GitHub directory for us and we have it here. So let's just do git checkout to a new branch and let's just call it failing test. So here we had one test target and we're basically testing our calculator class that when we add one and two, we get three. 
Let's just change this to a four. And save. And let's just add and get commit this change and let's push it. And we're just going to create a new pull request just to verify that if a test is failing, the CI is actually going to recognize that. So failing test, we should again get the GitHub action running. So I'm guessing if we use the cache functionality, we might get some things for free, but we didn't use that. It's fine because we have a pretty small project. So it's currently building five targets. built all the five targets, it's now running test. We can see that the test step actually failed as we expected and we get this exit code. Notice that we don't actually get any more details about that and this would be the same locally. So if locally we were to do basil test everything, we can see we don't get any more details but we do um, get this log file which if we were to look at that we can see that three does not equal four and that's the, the assertion error. So we get the same output here as that. So that's basically it. And we can see over in our PR now that we get this indication that the CI failed, so we wouldn't um, merge this pull request. So this has been how to set up GitHub workflow for a Bazel project using GitHub Actions. Next time we might take a look at another language, maybe something like Golang, and create some packages in our monorepo with a different language. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.